In this talk, Ryan shares how you can find high cash flowing property deals from rental companies and pay 50% below the market rent, and then sublet the property with consent for over 100% more than the rent you pay. This property, this one deal you rent, earns £30,800 over the course of a year. You don't need to pay a single property, you don't need to have any credit whatsoever, and you don't need to have any previous experience. Free Fridays. Every Friday, we bring some fun and excitement back into business by giving away the unlocks you need to push you through the hurdles. Free training giveaways, free products, free mentoring, and all because it's Free Friday. So make sure you've left a review, posted questions in the Property Crash Course community, or done something great so we can salute you. Hey podcasters, now this is actually the second part to a the first part of a podcast I released maybe a few days ago, maybe a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. Um, relating to a, a very large deal that we've done for rental purposes. Have you ever come across a property that's ever rented for more than £4,800 a month? A residential property. If you have, good on you, great, fantastic, really pleased. I, I'm delighted when people do well um, and push the boundaries, push the limits. This is not in London. It's in the southeast, East Sussex, not in London. So we found the property um from a, a short let holiday rental company they were struggling they hadn't managed to fill it we agreed 2250 pounds a month for this particular property now i managed to find a group of tenants and um i recording an ep i record a company actually i recorded an episode um maybe a week ago maybe a couple of weeks ago where i just left the viewing um, with the group of tenants, which was a company that had viewed the property and they wanted to rent it, okay? Now, this is just to confirm the deal has gone ahead, the deal did go through, and the people have moved in, okay? So this is just to confirm, so you guys know um, we're in the trenches, we're doing the deals, and this deal came out of the other end. So, it's a property. It was a six-bedroom terraced house. It used to rent for just over four and a half grand a month this property used to rent for about 1900 or around about two grand on the weekly basis about four and a half thousand on the monthly basis okay guys or four two this is in the summer i'm talking about like peak like prime in the summer okay now we're in september the summer is over um we've got you know the second lockdown we've got um well the new laws that came out today where you know six people or more can't gather in a house or even um, outside of a house or even out in the public. Anyway, so we have, we have, um, I'm just reading the message there. Sorry guys, text messages come through. Uh, it's quite important. <laughs> I know I'm recording this podcast, but it's distracting me. Okay. Just something else to deal with. So it used to rent for about two grand a week um, in the summer and up to about four to a month for the whole house in the summer. Six bedrooms. It takes a hell of a lot of people. It's on four floors. Anyways, I came out of that property the other day about two weeks ago. I just done the viewing with the manager of the company that comes down to have a look to see if he's happy for the property with his staff. Now, that deal went ahead. Now, we pay 2250 to the holiday rental company for this property. Now we collect £4,800 a month for this particular property. Now that means guys, we've done the deal, the contracts are signed, the people have moved in, the money is in my business account. And it generates £2,550 every single month. That's a gross profit. That's over 30 grand a year. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if you're looking to replace the average UK salary, which is about 28,000 before the coronavirus, probably, you know, a couple of grand less now that people would work for as the average UK salary. I think this is a very, very good deal, very good opportunity for any of you guys to listen to this episode so you can do deals like this. And you don't need to moan, you don't need to complain, you don't need to work 42 and a half hours a week um you don't need to do anything like that if you're if you just want to get into business get into property get into money understand finance understand leverage understand leasing understand controlling property 
without owning a property. That means no mortgage deposit, um, no credit check-in. It means you can even be bankrupt. I mean, I did this shit as soon as I came out of jail. I even did this shit while I was in jail. Now, yes, I've been to jail. That's in another episode. Um, I'm just showing you how low you can go and you can still do these things and come back. As low you can go and there's nothing that hinders you from doing deals like this, doing these particular deals. So it's very simple. Holiday rental company advertising the property. You call them. The holiday rental company asks for the premium amount. Yes, they ask for holiday rental rates. Now, they can only get those holiday rental rates in certain climates and at certain times of the year. Now we are in the low season. What happens to the rates? They completely crash. What happens to the holiday rentals? Most of them, many of them, large groups I'm talking about, those ones, <clears throat> excuse me, they go back on the market as an AST through the winter, or they just get rented at a low rate through the winter. Let me ask you a question. Are you and your family prepared for when the economy crashes and your bank balance goes to zero? In the aftermath of the 2008 property crash, I held a keynote talk in Piccadilly around property investment tactics that work when the economy crashes. And these tactics saved me in the 2008 crash. Let me share them with you real quickly. The first one is buying properties for one pound without getting a mortgage, without putting a deposit down, and without any credit whatsoever. The next strategy is finding properties with 25 to 50,000 pounds of instant equity. The next strategy is buying a property today and paying for the property later when it's worth more, a lot more in the future. The next strategy is renting HMOs and student properties and any properties up to 75% below the market rent. This gives you massive cash flow right now. And then the next strategy is raising from 4,000 to 14,000 pounds from properties that you just rent. This can be used as get started cash for whatever you want in your business. Now, I created a free training to walk you through the only strategies that will save your bank balance from going to zero. I'm serious. If you just go to www.propertycrashcourse.com and tell me where to send this free training. They can no longer get the four and a half grand a month or the two grand a week. They'll probably get around about two and a half grand a month for a property that large because the demand has simply gone. I'm talking about 10 plus people in a house. I'm talking about four plus rooms, four, five, six, seven beds looking bigger, the bigger, the better. We call those companies, any of you guys can call those companies and find out, okay, I've seen this massive house, you can see it's set up as a holiday rental, it's got an iron, it's got microwaves, it's got kettles, it's got toasters, it's got, um, let me put that on pause for a second. Sorry about that. The guy at the car wash just opened the door <laughs> to come in to do the inside of the windows and he's around the other side now. So maybe a little interruption in a moment, uh, but I'll keep going as long as I can. Multitasking, getting a car, clean before I go to meetings, um, on my phone, messaging in the car, um, just putting a few fires out, here he goes, he's back inside. Okay, I'm back again guys, sorry about that. So you know what to look for, there's cutlery on the table, there's crockery on the table in the pictures, the beds have towels on the beds, there's flowers, there's chocolates, there's a mini bar, you know what to look for with holiday rentals, if not, just Listen to some more of my podcasts. These episodes, they're completely free. And I explain how to spot a holiday rental property. Okay, so you approach the holiday rental company. That's now, back inside again. Sorry about that, guys, in the car wash. You're opening the doors again and again. So you approach the holiday rental company. You can see how much it used to rent for, the guide price, the high price, the holiday rental price. Then you look at the local market rent that that property would rent for. And then you take a little bit off of that, but that's a starting point, where to start from. What's the local market rent for a property with that many bedrooms? And then you have to take into consideration the pandemic, the coronavirus, and how limited there is that amount of people that would rent it, etc. for you to then arrive at the price that you're happy to pay. 
Now we never pay market value. We all, sometimes we actually, that's a lie. We do pay market value at certain times of the year. We pay over the market value at other times in the year when we know we have the clients, we know we can make a lot more money. But this one we paid below the market rent. I would say the market rent for this property was probably around about two and a half thousand, two thousand seven hundred and fifty 2,750 a month. There's not many people, that is the ceiling. There's not many people that would have the money to pay more than that because um, it's just a very large property and where are you going to find 12, 14, 16 people that need accommodation at that time of the year um, at the end of the summer? You may be waiting a very, very, very long time. So we looked at the property and um, as it happens, we managed to find a group of contractors, a company on a company-let basis that have an allowance per man, but rent the whole property as a group on one contract because it's one company. If they need to rotate their tenants, they will rotate their tenants. So we found the group of people at £4,000 a month. That's it, car wash done, I'm out of here. So we found the group of, um, well, we found the company that had a group of men that wanted to use the property and um, we managed to do a deal with them for £4,000 a month. Remember, we pay 2250 now you're probably wondering, where is the other 800? Where is the other 800? You said you got 4,800. Now, the reason why we got 4,800 is because we was thinking outside of the box. Thinking outside of the box. When I first went to view this property, it had, it's a four story property. It has a studio apartment on the ground floor, which is like lower ground, a studio apartment, lower ground, okay? Now, this studio apartment has its own front door and an integral door through the kitchen at the bottom of the house, okay? Own front door and an integral door. So my straight away, the opportunity that I saw was, hold on a minute, we can actually rent this studio out separately by sealing up the door downstairs, just a little bit of work, it didn't need too much work, by sealing up the, stu up the room, the door, sorry, downstairs on the back of the kitchen, putting the lock on the inside, and now they have to use the front door, so now it's separate from the house. So we get 4,000 for the house upstairs. We took a room back downstairs, which is actually a studio, and we rented that to our staff as it happens. We rented that to our staff. So that generates 800, and the flat, or the house upstairs, generates 4,000 pounds a month. That's how we got to the 4,800 pounds a month. Okay, guys, so if any of you are looking for ways to make money right now to replace the average UK salary right now with one deal, look for bigger houses, look for holiday rentals and be a very, 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 very good middleman. You enter the rental agreement that you can get off the Internet. If anybody wants the rental agreement to use that we use to structure these types of deals, I will send it to you guys. All you need to do is leave a review after this episode of the podcast. If you leave a review, letting me know your thoughts about replacing the average UK salary from one deal, guys. Ask me for the contract. Make sure you leave your contact details and I will send that contract to you. So you know exact the exact paperwork that we use, the exact contract that you need to use that you can get the right consents and you can do deals like this. This replaces the average UK salary from one bloody deal, guys. One deal. £2,550 a month this makes. I don't want any of you guys complaining that it's a coronavirus, it's a pandemic. You can't make money. You don't know how to make money. There's no money around. I mean, there's no opportunities. There's no jobs. You can't get a job. I don't want any of you guys to have that limiting belief and those excuses because you can find one of these properties, you can rent one of these properties, you can find the group of tenants, you can raise the money for the deposit and the first month's rent from your tenants that you find. I hope you got some value from this episode. I would love to hear your thoughts. He's a number one Amazon bestseller. He's an NLP manipulator. He's a property course seller. He's a Lamborghini driving multi-millionaire property guru.
Forget that same old boring I am me, me, me narcissistic podcast format because nobody gives a f. This podcast is all about you. So I'm taking these few seconds to thank you for subscribing, to thank you for leaving your five star reviews, and thank you for sharing this show with all of your friends. My team and I will keep bringing you these episodes and answering all of your burning questions in my Facebook community group called Property Crash Course. If you can just keep telling all of your friends about this show.